I'm, I'm looking at a story that's uh, headlined, Rand Paul says it would be an honor to be considered as Romney's vice president. Uh, have you talked to Mitt Romney about that? No, and I think the story got a, kind of got misrepresented because, you know, when I was asked, every time I've asked these kind of questions, you know, these are hypothetical questions, I always say, you know what, I still have my first choice in the race, and that's Ron Paul. And my first choice would be a Ron Paul presidency, and my first choice for a position would be an unofficial advisor to a Ron Paul presidency. But, you know, when they push and push and push and say, well, what about Romney, would you do it? You know, I answered that it would be an honor, and what I meant by that is sort of like, if you were nominated for an Academy Award, you know, what, what's your response? You'd say it would be an honor to be, <laughs> to be nominated, and so I think it's, it would be silly for me not to say that if anybody considered me that I'd be honored by it, but I think it was somewhat overblown that, uh, and it sort of fits into this sort of cabal that people are now writing about and saying, oh, there's this uh, big strategy between Ron Paul and Romney. Really, the Ron Paul strategy, as far as I'm aware of it, is to gather delegates and to try to win. And one of the unwritten stories really is that Ron Paul may have already won a couple of states and people don't realize it because the delegates haven't been allotted in Iowa yet. And we think there's still a reasonable chance we can win Iowa when they count the delegates. We think there's a reasonable chance we can win Maine when they count the delegates. And this is sort of an unwritten story that's out there, uh, but also uh, is, is why I think I, I don't like the story being represented out there that in any way uh, anybody's trying to angle for some other position other than just trying to help my dad at this point.